Hello, this is Tom, VA3WBA, and in today's video, I would like to show you in a hands-on way how to learn Morse code. There are countless videos on YouTube telling you how to learn the Morse code, what initial speed setup for your for your transmission and listening, and, and, and a whole bunch of things. Like if you do your research, you're gonna quickly see and and you're gonna have sort of uh, develop your own opinion and develop your own method. However, what I've noticed is that uh, very few of them actually suggest sending the Morse code. And I think this is the key component that is missing from your training and probably impeding the process. So to address this uh, problem, I done a little bit of research and I quickly discovered a, a very good application called Morse Mania. And this application not only allows you to listen to the Morse code at different speeds and with noise and like with a whole bunch of things that, you know, help you with the training, but also allows you to send Morse out. And you can see in the picture that, um, you can fake a straight key or you can fake a puddle. So I wanted to take it to the next level. I actually wanted to connect a real puddle to my cell phone so it's easier to practice and it has the feel of a real thing, actually the feel of transmitting uh, dits and dots. So I've done a little bit of digging and I've quickly found this article on Reddit um, which exactly shows the, the way of doing this. Uh, there was a person who created an interface which allows you to connect um, your Morse key or your puddle to the cell phone and further to Morse Mania. Uh, however, uh, this project is, is based on Arduino Pro Micro and I didn't have it uh, at home and I would have to order it and wait for it. So, but I wanted to do something here and now. Um, so I, I, I done some research. I essentially looked for Arduino because I had a couple Arduino bo um, boards at home, but actually none of them would support uh, a human interface. None of them could actually fake that keyboard and they were not the cheapest. So even if I wanted to order something, I'm looking at a lot of money because here in Canada, I'm looking for like Arduino Micro, it's $29 plus tax plus shipping. So we're looking like all of the sudden at $50. But I kept uh, looking and I found that actually a Raspberry uh, is a way to go. I had Raspberry Pico at home and Raspberry Pico, it's listed here for $5. So you can build an inter similar interface for far less money. Uh, so what I have done is I went back to the GitHub. I took a look at the code and I said, okay, I, I have a board which is going to actually work. Can I get this code running on the, the Raspberry board? And after you know massaging it and making some changes to it, I managed to to get it and to program it to the Raspberry Pi. And essentially it uses the same pin, pin two and three as the original software. So the next step was to really solder the cables and put it in a small box and see if it's, if it's working. Now let's review the hardware. As you can see, the Raspberry Pi board is attached to the bottom of the box with double sticky tape. So it is a piece of tape that is sticky from the both sides. And this is all I use to secure the board. Uh, there is a dub of the hot glue to make sure that the cable does not pull on the soldering point. Um, the board is powered through the USB, so there is no other power source. And the Morse code key, it's uh, just the, the socket for the Morse code key uh, is just 3.5 millimeters stereo jack. And then I use knife to cut out a little notch for the USB cable. So when you, when you put it together, it's uh, nicely closed. And uh, you could use like a 3D printer or maybe a smaller Hammond box uh, to make this project a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. 
So I took the picture of the interface uh, to give you an opportunity to see all the components. So yes, you need the interface box that you saw already, and you will need the micro USB cable, which connects the interface box to the on-the-go cable. And on-the-go cable is a component that connects your cell phone to that USB cable. Uh, in my case, I'm using Android phone, and the on-the-go cable has one end that is uh, USB-C type of. If you're using a different phone, you need to look for the on-the-go cable that matches your particular model of the phone. In this picture, you can see assembled quote-unquote station with the headset and uh, key. Um, the headset is useful if you planning to practice in a public place and you don't want to attract attention from people. Other than that, like if you're at home or in your own car, I would use a speaker, it's way more convenient. Um, so at this point, let's see this thing in action. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe. I really appreciate new subscribers. You guys uh, are a great motivation for me to make more videos and to look for topics that could be interesting. I'm going to try to um, include the link to the code under the video. And if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them uh, in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching.